Hello and welcome to Access Paranormal. My name is Jamie Williams. Joining me in the studio as usual is my co-host Jonathan Sullivan. Hello, Jamie. And my partner in crime, Marie Spriggs. Hello. So last week we had Lynn Murphy on. We did. And she was talking about the haunted houses she's been in. Yeah. And this week we've got somebody called Peter Parker on. Spider-Man? No. We've already been through this once. <laughs> Not Spider-Man. Peter Parker. Not fair. Now, um, he's also living in a haunted house, but we're not going to go into detail about that one because Peter's going to talk all about it a little yeah. bit later on. Um, we had a good chat with him um, before the show, didn't we? So yeah, we, we did, managed yeah. to record it. And it, so we might as well start on the subject of haunted houses, mightn't we? We may as well, mightn't we? Might as well go for it. Right, yeah. okay. Go on then. Do you want me to start? Then? Yeah, you can start. Have you, I guess your house is on. Well, I know a little bit it is. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, I've lived in a few where I've felt they were haunted. Um, when I was a kid, from the sky electric. Yeah. Around the track on its own. And the lights that lit up on the front. It wasn't switched on at all. It only run on electricity. Mm. Um, and that started going around the track in the middle of the night. Mm. On its own. You had to mm. press the buttons on the controller thing, one of them old ones. Yeah. Um, me and my brother actually researched that house. Yeah. And it was actually built on an ancient burial ground. The whole estate. Was it? So, right. quite interesting. Oh. Yeah. Um, and we also found out, this was in the, the Central Library in Liverpool. Mm. Mm. We used to be able to go on the, the old microfish. <laughs> oh, right. Never been on right. there, but I'm not old enough to remember that. Um, <laughs> I think I think the computers at the time were like the um, the ZX eighty one spectrums. Wow. <laughs> so yeah. Um, so it was a while ago. Uh, but anyway, um, we actually found you actually researched the address that you lived in at the time mm. on this microfish. Yeah. Um, and someone was actually hanged in that house. Oh, right. It's getting dark now, isn't it? Really? It is, isn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah. So that that was that one anyway. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, later on, there's a few strange goings on. And mm. then obviously, where I am now, with a few um, dark shadows at the corner of my eye and mm. stuff. And mm-hmm. Different little bits going on, yeah. Yeah. And I know you've had a few little um, hauntings going on in your house. Yeah. Oh, I think I suppose it first started when I was still in my mum's belly. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's different, isn't it, Jonathan? Yeah, it just... She wasn't expecting that, was she? <laughs> Not really. I don't think anybody was expecting that. Only because my mum used to see things. They bought this house. Um, and when they first got married and everything. And um, obviously, uh, yeah, I was made there. <laughs> and I was also born there. But um, all through um, the pregnancy and after the pregnancy, mm. my mum kept seeing a, a man at the end of the bed and everything. Um, wow. while she was, yeah. So it frightened her that much that they ended up selling the house to move away. Hold on a minute. Okay. So Lynn, Lynn last week was having men at the end of the bed. Oh, yeah. And now there's you. Hang on. There's, there's, I was there's a, like an ongoing. Wait a minute. How, how was, old would I, was, I have been? I was, Minutes. Yeah. <laughs> I was more concerned about that. The fact she moved because she was frightened. Yeah. You, you go anywhere. I know. I know. <laughs> so, well, what mm. I was going to say is, I feel like it's been with me all the time because yeah. it was from my mm. mum's belly. It was that you. It, yeah. <laughs> she haunts so. me now. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> but th- I had one. Um, my mum was telling me this story because obviously I wasn't born then. And um, <laughs> what's her name? She lived in this house in Heighton. I was going to say something, but come Kevin. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> I can replace you. <laughs> I wouldn't replace you, Jonathan. Um, but she was saying she lived in this house in Heighton. Um, I won't say where or nothing like that, but it's not far from where my mum lives now. And when my mum and dad went to see the house, she said it felt a bit strange, but they had to take it. My dad was going like, we've got to take it, you know, we, we need a place to live. So they went to live there. Now, my brother, my older brother, he was in one of the bedrooms, obviously, 
Mm-hmm. And he kept saying that he kept seeing this man, kept seeing this man, kept seeing this man. And he said he's standing there with his arms folded, just looking at them, at them. So, anyway, my mum and dad just pushed it off a little bit, you know. But yes. they, they said, my mum and dad said, they always argued in that house. It was never a nice house or anything like that. Oh, nice. So, they decided to do an exchange with somebody he knew. Yeah. And when they were living in this other house, a fellow we moved into that one came to see me mum and dad. Who they swapped with, the fellows. Who they swapped swap with, with, yeah. yeah. And he said to me mum and dad, when you were in that house, did anything ever happen? Mm-hmm. And she said, in what way? And he said, well, <clears throat> there's a man there who keeps standing there with his arms folded. He's not happy or mm-hmm. whatever. He looks like a policeman. So my mum said, well, kind of, yeah. But it wasn't a happy house for us because we were arguing all the time. We were always bickering and fighting. Yeah. Said it come to the point where they were going to separate at one time, yeah. but they, they didn't. They never ever did. Mm-hmm. But she said once they moved out of that house and moved into the new one, they were as happy as Larry. Everything yeah. was fine again. My mum remembers when she went to first look at the house. It, my dad remembers when he first went to look at the house. Oh. The old fellow was still living there. Right. And they were trying to get him to, to move out, and he didn't want to move out. He was saying, I've lived here all my life, I'm not moving from all this lot. Oh, so the council were trying to move him out? No, because he was an elderly person, he was trying to move him into, into a, a more safer environment. Okay. Let's, let's put it that way. And he didn't want to do it. Well, sadly, he passed away. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. And my mum and dad ended up at the house straight after mm-hmm. he passed away. So, do you so it sounds like he's not happy. Well, the strange thing so was is. No. no, he didn't. He never wanted to move. He was crying. He said he was crying when they were getting him out of the house and that. Okay. But the strange thing was, is they found out when that fellow was saying about him being, he, he, he looks like a policeman. Mm. The fellow who lived in the house who died was a policeman. Right. Yeah. And he was saying exactly the same as my brother said. He was standing there with his arms folded and looking at him. Oh, wow. So. Then mm. people who come who they swapped with your mum, yeah, and they come to ask. What was the words after your mum said? They just wanted to know if they had, had seen the same thing. Mm. They come out to see my mum and dad because they were yeah. friends. But, yeah. So did they stay? They did they stay in that house? Um, they did stay in the house. I, I don't know anything else about what happened. Mm. Whether the the um, yeah. they moved out or, or what. They were it was just what, what my mum yeah. and dad were telling me about yeah. that house. Right. Obviously, because we were into the paranormal. So it's it's very very strange that these things happen you know mm-hmm. well funnily enough um, my daughter went out with a friend um, a few days ago now um, she came back uh, got dropped off um, by her uncle um, and I was speaking to him and, and my daughter said tell him, tell him such and such about you I just want to mention his name um, mm. he said tell him about your podcast that you do so I was telling her about the podcast uh, and paranormal stuff, um, and he told me a couple of stories. Yeah. One, um, one about when he, he lived at home, I think mm-hmm. it was in South Africa. Yeah. With his parents, he told me all that story, and then he told me another story which I'm, I'm not going to mention, um, because it wasn't that long ago. Right, okay. And it was very personal to him. Mm. Right. Um, but I will speak to him and see if he will do an interview. See if you can get him to record right. it. Yeah. Very, very interesting stuff. Mm. Wow. Was that the South yeah. African one? No. Oh, the personal one? The personal one. Mm. Okay. Well, the, the strangest one we had, and it was in a house... Well, we can say it was your daughter's house at the time. Oh, my daughter's house, yeah. At the time it was. And it was the, the, the most scariest time I'd had hmm. that we had to call um, Shell from Axiom Paranormal to help us. Yeah, because I think right. we've mentioned uh, this before. I yeah. mean, that's how scary. You've never yeah. seen yourself in the mirror, did you? <laughs> no. Not even going there. I can't turn your mic down, you know. <laughs> yeah, but my daughter was seen a hell of a lot as well. Yeah. Mm. yeah. And my grandson was actually yeah. getting pushed a lot. Well, mm. Look at it. Oh, wonder if there was I a got video. That. Yeah, the video of him being mm. pushed. Yeah. yeah. 
And that's what you, you got Shelley. Yeah. Yeah. And so yeah. she came in and sorted it out. Yeah. Wow. And before she sold the house, we got somebody round and we got it cleared and cleansed and everything. Mm. Yeah. We had to because we didn't want to anything. But, and then it's, dare I ask, do you know who was living in the house then? No. <laughs> do we know who was no. living in it? Yeah. Um, only they only knew who they were selling it to, yeah. but they've not said anything. And we've been for mail, and that and they've never mentioned anything. But it carries on now in her house that she's got. So it's like if it was so maybe it's like it's attached, attached. To her. It's like it's followed, yeah. Right. Uh, but the thing with my daughter, we saw things from home. Um, so when we when they lived at home with us, um, a lot was going on, and both my daughter and myself seen right. and heard so a lot she she sent. sort of follows you with she's sensitive. yeah with being yeah. sensitive yeah, yeah. Mm. But it, it's strange isn't it that a lot of people do experience things in the houses now you don't have to go on youtube mm. and there's loads of people filming it, it's much easier now because everyone can get hold of these cameras you've got oh, your phone yeah. cameras you've got yeah. everything yeah. and people have, i mean you, you see loads of them now on there you do and when when we talk to to Peter Parker later on, um, or in a few minutes' time, I mean, what he was saying is going on in his house is interesting. Yeah, but like one of the paranormal people said, was you wouldn't need insurance for that, and to go out on a night because you've got it all happening in your house. I know, yeah. yeah. Peter I sounds mean, like he has. I mean, we say it'd be absolutely brilliant, but would it? Yeah, would I you be um, funny? Because we know then yeah. again people who pretend that they don't see what's in the house because it keeps them awake and yeah. keeps them. Yeah. So we know so we've they got. Ignore, they learn to so they learn to ignore it, yeah. it because of that. Yeah. And we know we know you know our friend Hazel's mentioned we do, that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so right. yeah, it can both work both ways. It can. You can't have it when you want it, and you know you. It yeah. just doesn't happen, does it? Well, they don't work yeah. on cue, don't they? They don't yeah, jump out and work at you. Know. Well, and um, it, it is interesting, you know, when you think about haunted houses, because we, we actually go to what buildings are houses, what we go to well, yeah, big yeah, houses, I mean, we've been state yeah. houses as well, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. in the past. So, yeah. so. of course. Yeah, yeah. So there's more out there than you think. I know we've got Thirties Drive and things like that. Yeah. We, we had the one in. Um, there's probably hundreds. Yeah, there probably yeah. is. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. What we'll do now is we'll go across to Peter Parker, who yeah. we interviewed a little bit earlier on today. And it, listen to his story. It's very, very interesting what, how it came about as well. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll, we'll pass it over to Peter Parker now to continue the story. So we've got Peter Parker on the show now, and um, no, not Spider-Man. the no, not Spider Man. No. <laughs> Peter Parker from Wiltshire. So uh, Peter, welcome to the show. Thank you. Cheers for having me on. Appreciate it. Oh no, you're more than welcome. We, we should be thanking you for coming on. Uh, now, Peter, uh, we've been watching some of your videos or photographs as well, um, and you've got a pretty interesting house, really, haven't you? Yeah, there's a lot going on right now, yeah, through every fault of my own. <laughs> so oh, when dear. did it all start, Peter? Well, it all started um, back when we first moved into the house. It was shortly after we moved in. Um, yeah, it was, I sat here on my own one time and my partner was away in Bath at a mum's house and, and uh, my protein shaker just fell off the kitchen side whilst, you know, I sort of walked into the kitchen and oh. thought, what was that? <laughs> Picked it up, thought, that's odd, you know, and then like, that was it and sort of like she went away again and something else came off the side and it was just little things and it was always when she was away to begin with right. and um, this went on for such a long period of time and it was always sort of like it was aimed at me, you know, it was trying to get my attention. So Yeah. Um, yeah from smelling cigarette smoke in a non-smoking house to say being touched once on the back when I expected to turn around seeing one of my children and my, my partner there of course no one was there and yeah this went on and on and on so um yeah and the, the baby walker as we were talking about earlier that was that was the final sort of straw yeah I was just sat on mm. my iPad in the front room and the baby walker just traveled from one side of the room to the other it wasn't really aggressive but it was it was enough to make you know, sort of put the, you know, sprite me a little bit. So I, I, I'm not gonna, I, I'm, I'm not afraid to admit, I did run upstairs at that point and tell my partner, you know, what had happened. And mm. yeah, I did sort of like, was a bit scared. So yeah, um, basically decided to uh, do a Ouija board Christmas day when I was drunk, early hours, 
Uh, and, uh, <laughs> yeah. So, so nothing really happened when I'd done the board. As I said, the glass never moved, nothing happened. So I just packed it away, left it at that, assumed that was it. And um, yeah, I was wrong. I'd obviously left some sort of door open, as I've later found out, apparently, by not pushing the glass to say goodbye, even though nothing actually happened. I must have had enough energy or whatever it took to to make something happen, you know, the aftermath, I call it. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. And, uh, yeah, a lot of weird stuff started happening. But, yeah, I um, the original, uh, the picture of the Shadow Man that I took, which you've seen, obviously, that yeah. was the first yeah. picture I'd taken. Yeah. Um, after an object fell off a side this time round, after the board, should I say? Nice. Um, when I when I done the board, it was weird because it was like a light switched and nothing happened for five years to the day, I believe, and the time. Right. Um, oh right, so it, it, was, it, was, happening it was a while again. back when you done this Ouija board then. Sorry. It was sorry, Peter. Was, was it a while back then when you done this Ouija yeah, board? Yeah, yeah. I done the Ouija uh, board five years ago, Christmas Day to the to to the exact time I believe when everything started going weird yeah. basically but yeah. Um, yeah it was the 15th of January that I took a picture of the shadow man which that was when I started filming filming all the goings on yeah because I've uh, yeah I was lent over the bottom of the handrail at the bottom of the stairs talking to my partner who was at the top when an object falls off of the radiator cover about 1.5 metres behind me a perfectly level radiator cover it was just a personal cap what you put the detergent in in the washing machine yeah hmm. so yeah sort of like looked at it looked at my partner thought that's odd picked it up put it back on the radiator cover sat back down on the sofa i filmed in my front room for about a minute and then i turned towards the front door took two photos one after the other january the 15th at 11.05 as you can see on my video yeah taken yeah. straight after each other in the same couple of seconds and yeah I looked from my photo album a couple of days later and as I was swiping through my photos just noticed the shadow man and that's when it jumped out at me and I sort of looked at it and thought you know what is that mm -hmm. um I know I was only my old my older son who who's moved out wasn't home at the time um I was the only man in the house the only person downstairs so I sort of could rule out any shadow or any anything yeah. like that of anything mm -hmm. and yeah it's just sort of from then on really I've just yeah. been filming ever since <clears throat> the evidence is just building and building and have you seen the shadow man since no i haven't no i've got i've i've got this other guy that it's weird it's a nine second clip off my motion camera and it's a beam of light that shoots from the front room floor which is also my bedroom we've got a safer bed it shoots from the floor up to the ceiling and if you pause it exactly the right time there seems to be this weird man um in the picture i'll send you the pictures of it oh right. yeah i'd love yeah, to see I that mean, that's, yeah that's the closest thing I've had to the shadow man since but I've not actually seen another shadow man that was the one and only mm. time and how does your partner think I mean what sorry what does your partner think is she scared or is she not bothered like herself at the beginning she <clears throat> was sort of you know you know saying you know you're going a bit nuts here and all this you know all this getting a bit obsessed with it and all that I think a lot, some of it's through fear of not wanting to believe yeah and half of it she kind of made a bit of a joke out of it but when i've recently played with some of my evps and that i think she's starting to take it a bit more serious mm -hmm. it's sort of a hundred percent i'm in the room on my own at two three o'clock in the morning yeah it started it started off i thought i was i was going to get i ran out all the memory on my phone my samsung a11 it was only an old phone that's why i filmed all my original footage on um the first three months of the year right. and it was completely filled up so i thought i'm going to go out buy a new phone get a new phone and have a fresh lot of memory to keep filming yeah. so i decided mm -hmm. i saw a motion camera in uh, in the cabinet 40 quid i thought i'd buy that as well set the motion camera up it was going off all night for about three nights uh, before i realized i was recording sound as well so i checked back uh, all my videos right. and seen orbs and seen all this stuff and um yeah i realized it was recording sound i'd never had one before i just didn't realize it was crossed out, so I unclicked it, re-listened to all my footage that had been recording, yeah. realising there was voices on there as well. So, oh um, my gosh, this is brilliant. <laughs> yeah, so I, um, so then that night, on the fourth night I think it was, I, I decided to ask questions. I thought, I'm going to ask questions through the camera. I asked a um, number of questions, um, is anyone here? Who are you? Are you okay? That's my normal sort of questions. Yeah. Uh, that was the first time I'd ever done it, but... Um, listen to listen back to the tape and they're answering all my questions it's 
That I'd is say still weird. now, it's, it's absolutely <clears throat> insane. I mean, I've offered any one of my mates to come and sit here with me whilst they do it, and every single one of them's too scared. Oh, my you know gosh. I mean? uh, yeah. Literally, oh, I, you know, I mean, not that I'm out to prove anything to anyone, <laughs> no. but, like, it's, it's just, it's insane. It's absolutely insane. And, um, yeah, I stopped asking questions because I was advised against it. Yeah. And um, they started asking me questions. They are even addressing me by my first name. Oh my oh, wow. gosh! That... I've got EVPs of them saying, uh, "Yeah, you know, yeah. hello, 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 John, and yeah. stuff like this, and yeah, all sorts of insane stuff." Some of the yeah. ghosts or spirits sound really distressed, which was concerning to me. Right. Yeah. Uh, they might be held against their own will. But I'll, yeah. I'll obviously play you all my stuff, and you'll know the ones I'm referring to. But yeah, a couple of them I ask, "Are you okay?" and they say, "No." I'm wondering whether they don't know they're dead, some of them, or they don't yeah, know where they are. Or, that, do you know what I mean? It does make you think that. It does make you think that, Peter, as, as well. Because Definitely. we always we always think that when we're investigating, mm. you know, um, do they realise that they are dead? So yeah, it yeah. is a it is a you know a concern, or you know, have they not passed through the light? Is are they stuck in between yeah. things like this, that? This is it. This is it. And I have spoke to a lot of people, and like, I'm just starting to get in touch with people like yourself that actually know who, what they're talking about and have experienced similar things or know you know know about it, rather than people that you know what I mean, just mm. sort of blah blah blah. Yeah. You know what I mean? But yeah, yeah so it yeah. does definitely help to sort of reach out and speak to people. That's why I. I made my account again because I came off social media, but I sort of just came back on to reach out to people that might know what they're dealing with. And you know, I've got far too much time on my hands to be doing it as it is, really. Uh, not enough time on my hands to be doing it, far too much stuff to be getting on with, but yeah. it's quite hard to leave it alone now. I've got what I've got, and I'm just fascinated, absolutely blown away by it. I really am. Yeah, it's, it's, I mean, it's, it sounds almost like when you've done the Ouija board, You've maybe opened a portal that was probably already there, but you've you've opened it more and let things right, in, right? And then not closed it down properly. I mean, maybe all of this portal. Exactly, you're exactly right there. What you said is what I've been told now. What I believe that needs to be done. Yeah. But um, every all the evidence I've got to back up this theory that there's a portal in my attic or in my house somewhere is just insanely, it's just insane, you know what I mean? There's, it's just, there's so much stuff that no, there's just not a scientific answer for. Yeah, that's, it. Well, that's, that's, I mean, it's the best evidence really, isn't it? I know it's not nice being in your own house, but... Well, I mean, like I said, I bought, I bought the motion camera and I know there's millions of particles of dust airborne all the time, I know there is. So yeah. if your motion camera was set up and it was capturing dust, as certain people say, it would be going constantly, picking up all the dust that was passing, passing. My orbs manifest, they come out of the walls and come across the room and go into another wall. Yeah, you know, I've got hundreds and hundreds of videos and yeah. yeah, I mean, they've all got, a lot of them have got faces in, I mean, really detailed, clear faces, it's absolutely insane. I mean, is, is, is that picking up things in the night time as well? Yeah, hey, it's camera. all night. It's all night. I only run my camera at night, mate. I don't run it in the day. Right. So, I mean, you're not really going to get dust particles in the no, night when there's no settled. one in that room, is yeah. there? But motion cameras. Well, the, the thing, the, the thing is that it's like there'd be nothing for three hours, and then all of a sudden, this big ball of energy comes out of the wall. Yeah. Passes across the room and goes into another wall. You can see it's not dust. There, there's yeah, exactly, no yeah. reason for that to suddenly happen. Otherwise, it would be mm. happening all the time. Yeah. It was picking mm. up dust like that. But I mean, it's a big debatable topic, isn't it? There's a lot of people that it don't is, believe any orb is. It, once you've seen it, you know the difference. Don't yeah. You? Oh, exactly. You know you get, mate, and I totally get it. I do totally get it. You yeah. know, you sort of have got to be there to see it, sort of thing. Yeah. But. I mean, yeah, like I say to people, you know, I've got on one video, I've got four different voices of they're even communicating on the camera before I ask the questions where I just record and wow. and I start talking and they're answering my questions. It's insane. There's nobody mm -hmm. else. There's no other men in the house, but there's four different men yeah. as well as myself mm -hmm. speaking on the camera. It's just, yeah, it's just insane. I just, yeah, like I say, I'm still trying to absorb it. I really am. Yeah. So you've got started to be a believer, I take it now, from what you've well, had, yeah? It's not an option now. It's not an option. True. There's just True. too much. I <laughs> believe you me. I was, I was just as sceptical as everybody yeah. else out yeah. there when it first started happening. I looked for every reason to blame yeah. apart from the paranormal, but yeah. there is there is none. 
No, that's... There's no scientific. There's no scientific explanation for a lot of the stuff that's happened. You we know? totally understand where you're coming from because I think each one of us have started because of something like this. Um, yeah. You know, I've started our own journeys, um, started from personal experiences and things exactly like that. that. And that's when you start believing, because it's exactly the same as we, we've said it in the past on radio yeah. shows, and um, how each one of us got into it. And beforehand, you, you question, it, like yourself, you question well, everything, you try and debunk exactly. everything that it's, you know, that's... It's only human, you, isn't it? It is, yeah. yeah. Of course it is. So we know exactly where you're coming from with that. Um, so has your children ever picked anything up? Well, my daughter's, my daughter's friend took a photograph with a, what I now realise on looking closely at the picture is there seems to be like four different spirits in the picture. I'm not going to go into too much detail because no, no. it's um, personal to parties involved and stuff. But um, yeah, yeah. When she showed me the picture, she was like, Dad, 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 we're taking this picture. There's a man in the picture with us. I was just like, oh, that's, that's motion blur. Don't worry about it. And so yeah, I had it of off course. as that. Yeah. Got her to send me the picture and then just never mentioned it again. But uh, the picture's insane. And to yeah. my, it's one of the best pictures I've ever seen. Mm, I'm not blown. Brilliant. It wasn't even me who took it. It was my daughter's friend, so I can't even really take credit for it. But no. it's an insane picture, and I've never seen anything as good as no. it, to be honest. To know that a kid had just taken it, and it wasn't... When you see these things online, it's like a question with my Shadow Man picture. I don't know, I'm guessing with the right technology and computer and know-how, you could probably add that to the picture. I don't yeah, even own a yeah, PC. Yeah. I'm not a very technical, technological, technical, <laughs> technological person. We know yeah, where man. you're coming from. Yeah. Sorry, you know what I'm trying to say, sorry. Yeah, no, it's but, okay. um, Yeah, I'm not very technologically advanced, but... Um, yeah, so yeah, I, I have no know how to do any of that if it's even possible. So sort of like I know myself, that's a real picture, but yeah. so it being put up on the internet, my point being is anybody could do anything to it. So I do go, totally get it. Yes. And when I posted my um, videos of my pink, the pink orb, yes. a lot of people had said I'd enhance that picture and all this. And I was like, I've literally filmed it on a Samsung A11. Yes. And um, that was it. And it was, you know, I mean, I've not, not altered it in any way whatsoever. Mm, yeah. yeah. You, I mean, you will always get people Skeptics. that will question yeah. everything. I suppose you know it's the I mean. right it's, thing it's, to it, do, it is, isn't it? It's the right way. way to do it. Yeah, um, yeah of course. Obviously, it's just got to be done in the, in the right of way course. as well, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah you know exactly, I mean? exactly but that. I think um, on some of the things you've sent me, you've actually said, I've announced this so you can see it better. So you've been up front oh, yeah, with the ones that you have. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Couple of yeah. Have been in so I will always yeah. say... But a lot of people do enhance them for you to see it better. And that's it's what like, you need, yeah. isn't it? It's like what we done, Peter, with the EVP on the last show. We we enhanced it for people to listen to it. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people don't understand that part of the enhancement. They do. Yeah. They've not no, actually added no. anything to it. You've just yeah. raised it up. That's so correct. Same my EVPs on my YouTube channel. They've all been sound boosted. Yeah. So it's better for listening because I can hear it before, obviously. Otherwise, I wouldn't have... Yeah, looked yeah. into it, but obviously with the enhanced with the sound boost, you can um, allow other people to hear it better. Exactly, yeah, and you know, understanding that as well, because we have to do that. Um, just higher, higher it up at that point, um, and it is just for the listeners so they can mm -hmm. hear it, and then you play it a few times because you've yeah. got to get it in your head, haven't you? Really, what you know. is it saying? You know, yeah, exactly and things that. like and that, and what are you saying? Yeah. I never like to tell anybody words. Sorry, I don't mean to talk over you. No, it's, it's okay. Right. Gone a bit quiet. Yeah, I never like to implant implant words into someone's head. What I think I hear, yeah. and I like to yeah. know what they hear before I sort of discuss yeah. that. You know what I mean? Because that's that's what we do with our EVP. Yeah. Have you heard the one we put on the um, the Facebook page? I've yet to yeah. hear them. I've yet to hear them. I only listened to one of your podcasts for the mm -hmm. first time the other night, and mm -hmm. I don't worry, I will be checking them out tonight. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to hearing your EVPs and stuff. Definitely. Mm -hmm. The um, the EVP one, we've actually just put a small shot on Facebook, a quick one for people to listen to, and we wouldn't say what it was, but we've got a few people, um, you know, giving the ideas yeah. of what it says. So. So if you scroll down on the Facebook page, you'll actually see it along the, it's about 10 seconds long. Um, and have a listen to that, Peter. Yeah, definitely. I look forward yeah. to listening to that this evening. 
Yeah, brilliant. Because we've only just started doing the EVPs. Because we, we were trying to work out how to put the EVPs up, and we found a way of doing it now. So whenever we get them, we'll be putting them up on the page for people to listen to. And, and Yeah, awesome. Uh, uh, like you said before, Peter, we don't tell anybody what it says. We let exactly. people put their views up because it's interesting to see what other people say. Yeah. And when we listen to it again, mm-hmm. we can see where they're coming from. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's like yeah, trick of the ears. It is, because we heard, two of us heard one thing and Jonathan heard a slightly yeah, different thing, didn't right, you? Yeah. And when we put it on, we heard a third and a fourth thing from yeah. the people. <laughs> and then when we listened back to it, I thought, oh my gosh, yeah, that does sound like that yeah. as well. Right. So, yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's, it's a really tricky one as well because once you hear something in your own head and you yes. hear it, it's hard to unhear that. So. It, it is. It is yeah. so right. And, and that's why it's, we put them up without any kind of um, this is yeah. what it said. Yeah. Indication to what yeah. you think is being said. But yeah, no, it's definitely always good to get other people's opinions before you sort of put out there what you hear. But sometimes it's hard not to. I mean, some of them. I've had some EVPs that are so clear, you just, there's, you, you know what I mean? You can't yeah. mistake it for anything else sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah, we, we've, um, sorry, we've got one and it says says something. We're going to put it up, well, we'll put it up on YouTube again. It, not YouTube, up on Facebook. Yeah. And um, then what we'll do then is you can have a listen to and see what see what's... Hold on a minute. Outside. Sorry? you got a light outside. We've, have we got a light outside? No. No. Have you just saw something lighting up? Sorry. Just see light there. We're getting oh, yeah. thing. We're getting things here things in the studio. Yeah. Um, um, just, Peter, I mean, I mean, things happen. Yeah. Talking about strange things. Sorry, mean, Peter, about that. That's all right. I mean, we're always honest, aren't we? Yeah. 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 I mean, We've this been... recording. Yeah. This is the third time, second, third time. What we're we trying that? to record now? Trying to record time, Peter, yeah. yeah. Because yeah. it keeps stopping. Stopping and stuff. Yeah. Um, and then you said that I blew in your face. Yeah, because yeah. it was, a, it was like something on seconds after that, my face. Yeah. Yeah. It went off. Yeah. It went off. So, yeah, we have. So, so for the listeners out there, this is the on. third time that we've been trying to con- uh, talk to Peter yeah. and it's kept stopping. And we've never had that in all the 90 yeah. odd shows. No. And we're seeing a few things around tonight. So yeah. I don't I don't know what you're passing on to us, Peter. But <laughs> 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 yeah, I, I don't know, do you know what it's strange actually because um whilst this has all been going on i have had one friend that's been real close to me that's been coming to church with me because i've been going to church every sunday since this has happened um, yeah. yeah obviously it's very personal to me i've done the ouija board because i assumed and i now know or have been told from two different mediums that have never met me before that the person i thought that was haunting me or one of the people that I originally called up on the board yeah. was that person came through, told me so much stuff that she never could have known. Yeah. Um, yeah. I forgot the point I was going to make now, sorry. That's okay, it's not a problem. Yeah, you were talking about with, like, with the church and the person. Oh, uh, about, yeah, yeah, being personal to people and stuff. Yeah, so Dan, yeah, my mate Dan, um, he's been coming to church with me, yeah. Um, so he's been around my house quite a lot and stuff, he's, um, you know, last few months and stuff as this has all been going on. Yeah. Now he's... Um, messaged me the other night saying he was in his front room doing something and he heard a bang in the kitchen and the knife sharpener came off his kitchen side mm. so he's gone out and bought a camera the next day and he set up his <laughs> camera and sure yeah. enough it's gone off and he's captured a couple of things in it i obviously haven't shared them on my channel because it's not mm. my footage of course but um my point being that uh, I think something has genuinely followed him back from my house, I'm guessing. Right, and yes. is now, now oh, I could feel a presence in his house as well, which is weird, mm. you know, it was like a real cold feeling. Right. And I think oh, whatever heck. he's sort of captured, it doesn't look human, you know what I mean? It's yeah. weird. I, I'll, mm. I'll share the photos, I'll send you the photos, but yeah, yeah. Yeah. really weird. I mean, you know, I'm guessing they can sort of attach to people or follow people home. I don't know mm. if they're trapped in my house or yeah. there's they- so much unknownness. You know, sort of like, yeah, no one can really give you 100%. They can give you an answer, but they can't prove it, if you know what I mean. Oh, no. A lot of this stuff, there's no 100% proof out there. Yeah. Yeah. Only personal experiences that you experience, and you know yourself. And I think when you get to a certain state, like at first you sort of want to show everyone, and you want everybody to go, yeah, wow, cool, yeah, that orbs, that's a real spirit. After a while, you go past that, and like, now I'm not out to prove things, I'm just recording... Yeah. The stuff as it's going on, putting it out there. If people want to look, they can look. If not, fine, you know. But the main issue is obviously to close the porthole, which I believe is open. Yes. And and you know get the house blessed and sort of sort it out. But as 
as it stands, nothing's really causing anybody any noticeable harm, but you just don't know. Like you say, it, it did make me sick after taking that photo, which I had blood taken and everything, and the yeah. doctors mm-hmm. couldn't find a reason for yeah. me. I know. Literally that's... puking my guts up every day for over a month. It was, that uh, is so weird, weird isn't it? Weird. it? Yeah, yeah, and, and yeah. I've got to ask, Peter. Um, obviously, you you're concerned about your kids being in the house, but it's been five years now. Have they been affected in any way? Well, this is it because, like I was saying before, I think we cut out earlier in the conversation. After I'd done the Ouija board, it was literally like a light being switched, and all mm. the activity that was going on in my house completely stopped. And it didn't start till five years later. I don't know why. I haven't got an answer for that. I don't know why it took five years. But I didn't see any items fall or anything like what's going on now in that five-year period. Do you know what I mean? Mm, it was yeah. happening before the board. After the board, it was just literally stopped and then started up again five years later. I, I still yet to find out or try and get an answer to why this is. I don't know why there's a delayed... If there normally is a delay, I don't know. I have no experience in this, so I can't compare no. it to anyone else one else's situation it's one of those you know what i mean yeah so this is just your own personal um situation oh, yeah, 100%, isn't yeah, 100%, it yeah and you That's said all. you've had a couple um of quite a few people who's passed away as well um was it four people that was um around you and things like that yeah i, yeah, yeah. I called out four people on the board that had died in the uh, previous you know 10 years yeah. of doing the board i'd say uh, two of which have come through in church in the last few weeks and yeah. a medium from denmark Yes. Um, Mia had uh, given me a reading. She done my tarot reading. Yeah. Everything she said in the reading made complete sense to what was going on in my life, and I get that you know there's things that can be said, but this was quite detailed. And then afterwards, she gave me two names that she said she got from spirit, and one of them was a person that passed away that was originally haunting me. Of, and his partner, it was like two names she just couldn't have. Yeah. There's no way in a million years. My profile is not my real name. There's nothing about my personal life on there. Yeah. Nobody knows my past history of my friends. and st- It's just, it was impossible. And I was completely blown away by it. And it's just like, and then the same person came through three, day, three days later in church. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's just everything sort of what I thought was happening and who it was that was doing it. It's just been answered apart from all the voices on my, my motion camera. I don't know any of them. I yes. don't know any of the people on my motion camera that no. are talking, which is really weird. Oh, good. So, and some one of the things that you have, um, we've talked about in one of the times when it cut off, was about um, the popping noises from the, was that on the the pink yeah. orb, or was that from the mirror? No, on the pink, on the pink one, yeah. um, it makes a popping sound, and I, so I put it up on one of the orb pages the other day, and someone yeah. said apparently that's, when they pass through into our dimension I, I, how much truth's in that i don't know how much yeah. you know i don't know yeah. if they got evidence to back this up but it's weird because that's the only one i've got with the popping sound on but i'll send you my ones that my motion camera pick up at night Brilliant. and yeah. every time the orb passes the camera it's like a laser sound or a sound from outer space well, so we'll have no- a, yeah we'll de- you know what we'll definitely have a listen to them because i know we've yeah. had them through and i've only been listening off my mobile yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. so we'll add I those mean, and put our head headphones on and listen yeah you from do need there. a decent set of headphones really yeah. but i mean there's the same reoccurring sound whenever an orb passes my motion camera at night it's like a laser like a lightsaber sound oh, you, nice. you know what i mean it's really yeah. weird i can't explain it but it always seems to be when the orbs are passing the camera, so they're definitely related, sort of thing, you know. It's definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Can I ask you, Peter? Do you know your house? Is it an old house or is it a modern house? Or do you I, know they're anything? They're old war houses. I've got a feeling they were built in. I'm not 100% sure on the date. I can look them up. But a lot of people ask this question, and mm. I'm not sure if that, if that, the date of the house or the history of the house is related. I've Googled it and I haven't found, you know, I can't see anyone that's passed away in the house or yeah. anything yeah. bad that happened or anything like that. I just put it 100% down to doing the board. Yeah. yeah. I wonder what was um, on. Yeah on your grounds before the house was built as well that's a good question yeah. that's a good question yeah, you know because yeah so that would be fascinating as well if, but, you're, on a, if you're on a ley line yeah 
because it could it could have come from the portal that way before mm-hmm. your house was built or anything, and you've you've delved into that part. Yeah, which you know it'd be good. For, it'd be fascinating to find out that. Yeah, yeah I, well, I might do that tonight. I'll try and I have done a bit of digging, but I'll try and look into what was actually here on the land before. And see if you know I can sort of find anything that might relate it. To... Yeah. Yeah. And the area you live in, um, Peter, is it's it's quite well known the area Wiltshire for like UFOs area, and yeah. unusual things happening anyway, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I'm just down the road from Stonehenge, so yeah, oh, I mean, yeah. we get a lot of UFO sightings and stuff like that. And oh, so like, like, yeah, I mean, there's, there, yeah, there's a lot of old buildings yeah. and that around. It's a medieval city, so yeah. it certainly is. Yeah. But my like like yeah. I said to you um, offline was um, my family lived down there, my relatives lived down that way in Warminster, so I yeah. know a little bit about the area now, which is good. Yeah, it is. Yeah, and the work around there mm-hmm. and everything. So we know where you're coming from, we, and it's a beautiful surrounds, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's nice. It's nice. It's ideal for uh, UFO spottings, isn't it? Because it's wide open. I've got to exactly. Add. I've just got too much on my plate to go looking for UFOs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've, I've, got, um, I've got to add. The thing is, it's literally like being thrown into the deep end, sort of thing. You know, what I mean, yeah. I didn't choose it, but it is my fault in a way. No. So. Yeah. And will you be before you, this all starts to happen? I know you went on the Ouija board because you had a few drinks on Christmas Day, but before that, were you into the paranormal before or? Have you been I've on the ghost really hunt or anything? In it. I've always been interested in aliens and ghosts and paranormal in general. Yeah, of course. I mean, I'm not mm. so far as going to the Bigfoot side of things and that, but yeah. certainly <laughs> ghosts, poltergeists, and UFOs and that have always shown interest in, but yeah. never really experienced anything. You know what I mean? Yeah. Huh? I mean, so, you, 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 okay. you, sorry, you live by um, UK's Area 51 as well, don't you? I'm what, sorry? UK's Area 51 is in Wiltshire. Area 51? Yeah. yeah. Like in like in the in the um over Oh in right, okay. What the UK's version of it you mean? Yeah, yeah. The UK's version that is it actually in Wiltshire? I honestly don't know, mate. I honestly yeah. don't yeah, know. Is, I, I would yeah. say I'm not I'm not a proper proper yeah. nerd when it comes to it or anything. I just interest I watch ancient aliens and paranormal yeah. whatever it is on Blaze sort of thing. But yeah. I mean now I've I've sort of I love my horror films. I love all of that. I've tried to people send me these links to people that get possessed and stuff and I try to avoid watching anything like that in my house because obviously yes. mm. I don't want to spike any activity that wouldn't have happened or yeah, uh, give them ideas yeah. as such do you know what I mean the minute obviously someone gets scratched or bitten is the minute that everyone gets out of the house yes. yeah. Yeah. Totally. not necessarily me because I honestly genuinely don't mind being thrown around but yeah. obviously I can't see any harm come to my kids or anything no, that's so. true. can I just say that though... yeah nothing nasty like that's happened so yeah, the, the things that have, the, the things that have happened, Peter, has it escalated at all, or has it just been like on a, on a level all the way through so far? So basically, when it all started happening, when I took the photograph of that shadow man, for the next month or so after that, it was just like like literally ten items had come off the shelves in front of my eyes. Some when I wasn't in the room, some in front of my eyes, and. Um, uh, ever since I bought the motion camera and I started filming on the motion camera I've noticed the objects falling and the walls knocking may I add I forgot mm-hmm. to mention that the wall oh, knocks right. I know you can't see a wall knocking but mm-hmm. I know the sound yeah. of where my walls knock on the stairs mm-hmm. and in the front room yeah. and you can hear the hollow parts knocking wow so that was a lot going on there so also I was just going back um, to the mirror and the noises because um, we mentioned that part as well do you remember yeah. we've mentioned that in the past in the mirror and the noises and um, you said that there's a funny sound because when I was listening to that Peter I actually thought it was background noise no no and there it, should be no noise no noise yeah. like that it's, it's, I, but I, couldn't, it's, I couldn't figure it out what it sounded like so now you've told me um, basically with that video there that's just a small clip of a three minute video I'll send you the original three minute video I don't normally mm-hmm. obviously send the original footage out well, I'll we, send it yeah. to you just so you can grasp it's where I'm right. coming from. I sort of uh, led against the kitchen side on my phone. Yeah. When the little clay pot falls from the windowsill onto the side for yeah. no scientifically possible explainable reason whatsoever, even if a window was open, it's not going to move a mm. heavy object. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I started rolling with the camera, and then as I go up to the mirror, you get that weird crackling sound that I have in a couple of other videos as well, but yeah. it sounds like a burning of wood crackling to yeah, me. That's what that, it sounds yeah. like. 
And that's what. And then I... there's you can hear wind, and you can hear a weird voice that sounds like a woman, like a witch, yeah. or it's yeah, insane EVPs. That was before I started using my motion camera. See, that's mm-hmm. actually an old video, even though it's a later upload. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. um, I've I've got so much footage I've not uploaded yet with insane stuff on, but I'm sort of kind of saving some of my good stuff if you know what I mean. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, it will eventually all go up on my channel. But yeah, I mean it's just yeah, it's, it's just fascinating. Well, it's it really wonderful, is. yeah. So we've we've almost got to the end of the show now, Peter. Um, so I'll just hand you over to Jamie. Yeah, Peter. Thank before you. we do go, um. What is your YouTube channel for people who are listening to go to either subscribe, like, or whatever they want for you? Uh, my YouTube channel is called My House is Haunted, and it's got the picture of the shadow man that I took as my yeah. profile. Obviously, right. it's quite a common name on YouTube, but mm-hmm. uh, you probably can find it now. My videos have picked up. I've got quite a few views, so I suppose they come yeah. up more suggestions. suggestions like. Yeah. yeah. And um, once we've um, gone offline and everything, we'll find out you know what pictures and that you want to send through that we can put up for the listeners and you've got a book as well peter haven't you that you're writing well yeah i haven't 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 got it yet but yeah like obviously i'm writing it i've i've got quite a lot written out it's fairly an easy write i say it's whether anyone will want to want to read it or not it's another story but i'm just sort of doing it for I'm myself sure and we'll anything and well, listen to this. Got so much so much has happened it would be it would just be you know i mean i've just got to do it i've Mm-hmm. It's one of those, but yeah, I yeah, mean, well, there's a lot of there's a lot of pictures, there's a lot of videos, and a lot of stuff that I could bring into my YouTube. But sort of like I say, it's not just you know a couple of things. I've literally got hours and hours and video after video yeah. footage. It's just crazy. Well, when you've written your book, Peter, you'll have to come back on and introduce your book to us all as well. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Brilliant. Yeah. Well, um, Peter, I've got to say th- um, thank you for coming on to the show. We really appreciate it. And Fascinating. To be That's honest with you, me. we're going to have to get you back on on a later date to, to, yeah, to have a no follow up with you. I'll try and be a bit more yeah. prepared. I mean, I haven't prepared for it, I'm not going to lie, but it's sort of, I've only just got to tell you what's happened, so it's not like I've got to really plan anything. Yeah, yeah, there's not a problem, Peter. It's been fantastic talking yeah, no, to it's you. It's been wicked coming on. I appreciate you having me and that and listening. And Yeah, it's been cool. No, and we've got to definitely follow up and um, keep an eye on this. But for anybody who wants to um, to to carry on following Peter, uh, you can do on his um, his YouTube page. My house is haunted. Now, I, I think we've lost Peter. Yeah. Um, we've had some weird things happening tonight. So um, that's a strange one again, isn't it? Since, since we were talking to him about his haunted house, yeah. it keeps going off. But um, Peter, we didn't get a chance to say goodbye to you. But thank you for coming on the show. We really appreciated it, and we definitely have you on again soon. Yeah, thanks yeah. a lot, Peter. Thank you. We'll keep in touch. Now, how, how good was that? Uh, um, what's happening? I don't know. I was just about to say how oh, good was how good was Peter Parker then, but Jonathan's. What are you doing? I'm reading my spares. I'm gonna come. You told me Peter Parker was on. I'm looking for Peter Parker. I need to see what he looks like. We've been through this all night now, haven't we? As soon as we said we're having Peter Parker, on, he went, "This is Spider Man." The <laughs> Spider Man is Marvel. He's a made up character. <laughs> this whatever. is paranormal. Yeah. If you want to read something intelligent, read the expert page 17, 18 it was, not 17. <laughs> <laughs> 17 was a book I was in. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, no. Peter Parker from Wiltshire. Okay. Uh, Fascinating. So, if you say it once more, I'm going to say any microphone down. From Marvel. Do you know what, Marie? <laughs> yeah. So my new co-host is um, Marie Spriggs. <laughs> and my previous one, Jonathan, it was really nice having you on the show. Okay. Um, <laughs> but I'm sorry to see you go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was. I, I, I give me to you that uh, Peter Barkley was on. I, I'm, the poor fellow's going to be getting a complex because he's saying his name all the time. Oh. Wasn't he brilliant, though? The, the story he told about his house was unbelievable. Fascinating. I mean... And knocking on the walls, the orbs, yeah, the ghost, the, the shadow, footage, the shadow. The that's shadow. what I meant. That yeah. Goes, yeah. Do you know, so much and the going noises, on in that so house. I'm looking forward to listening back on his um, videos and that from YouTube because I've got a set of headphones mm. yeah. and the noises that he was talking about. Oh, like the laser noise. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When he gets, yeah. when he gets, and nobody else and then... in the house. Well, uh, with him at that time yeah. either. Yeah. It's strange, isn't it? And, and what was amazing though is he started it off by doing a Ouija board. Mm-hmm. 
on Christmas Day. I know. After the few drinks. drinks. Yeah. yeah. So from one spirit to another. I know. <laughs> but you, you've got to say though, I mean, he was he was so enthusiastic about what he was telling us, and, and you could it's see how much well, it's, it's, he's gone into it as well. Yeah. You know, and doing he wasn't the research. Really a believer before that. Well, no. it was half and half, well, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, he was a bit skeptical, wasn't he? Yeah. My, my only worry is, um, has he made that Ouija board? Yeah. From yeah. a Monopoly board. But we are going to. Oh, I mean, yeah. and put the letters on it. He must right. have cut letters out and put them on. But yeah. what we are going to do, what though... What do you mean, what's worrying about that? Well, letter? he has not got the letters anymore. No. So He's not got the letters anymore? No. So he'd be lost for words? No. <laughs> yeah. So would it have to be the same sort of board, or I would it be... No, so that's where he Because he was mentioning yeah. that he wanted... Yeah. You know. Well, what I was going to say, because we heard that, he, you know, he's... he's wondering how he can stop all this and we've got yeah. a good friend of ours who we, can yeah, I was just got step in that. there and, and do yeah. that so we're going to have a we're going to get in touch with her yeah and um, if peter park doesn't mind and we'll see if we can help him there because you could see that he was trying to re, re- get back into it to, to stop what was going on in the yeah, house yeah, yeah not for him he's not bothered about that it's for his family yeah and to me that that's a manly thing to do it, it is. It yeah, is. I mean, it, it, it seems he's a little bit like Marie and he's got no fear. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. And it doesn't really bother him that much about no. the sounds. No. Of it. But, but it is. It is yeah. his, uh, but like you said, good, if it goes yeah. over that mark yeah. that's where it, it? anyone gets scratched or anything, mm. you know, that's, that's it. And he, he doesn't yeah. want to get to that, and, obviously. No. He's such a nice man. He was a really genuinely yeah, nice man. I really enjoyed talking yeah, to him. Yeah, yeah, it's fascinating. And but. Uh, you know, this is a lesson for anybody as well out there. When you mess with Ouija boards, you don't know what you're doing. Now, he's admitted, do he, he put his hand up and yeah. said, I, I made the mistake, I had yeah. a drink and I done it. And he, he's he's honest about it. Yeah. And he's looking at ways of stopping it. But, what, I mean, that's a credit to him as well there because he's admitted it. It is, yeah. At least he's not hiding the fact. No, no. And, you know, don't mess with Ouija board. If you don't know what you're doing with a Ouija board, don't, don't do it. it. Just don't do it. Don't, don't, don't whatever you do. Don't make your own easy boards <coughs> either. Um, you know, and and if you do want to try it, and, and we can't stop you, let's, you know, we can't stop you. Make sure you're with someone who knows what they're doing. Yeah. And how to well, close it, it yeah. down. Because yeah. you you heard then from Peter what he said. He's his, his friend. It looks like something's followed his friend from his. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't. It's not just what it happens to you. Yeah. It's the hap- yeah. what happens around you as well. You know. So. You could make attachments to your family, your friends, and everything like that. Yeah. So it, it's something you've got to. It's not a game. Well, yeah. It's not, it's but not well, a game. It was a bit a unusual, though, for how many times that it kept stopping and starting. So we're going to have to look at that. Yeah. And find out was the, um you know there was a big update. Was it that we had to restart the computer because we had to it do was all weird. that. Yeah. Plus, we were seeing things in here. In here, yeah. Yeah, so in the studio here, we was actually seen, and that doesn't you no not happens often. Yeah. Coincidence. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. I mean, I don't believe in coincidences. No, I, I know. think things happen for a reason. Um, you know, we've we've had things happen, and like tonight, I mean, we were talking to Peter. Now a few years back, quite a few years back, I was talking to a good friend of mine called Don. Mm. Yeah, I won't give his second name or not like that away. And as I was talking to him on the phone, I heard a female voice go, Hello, Jamie. And, oh. I, went, and I went, I went to Don, who was that? And he went, Who was what? I said, The woman who just said hello to me. Then he went, It's really me in the room. Mm. But it wasn't, it was a spirit card. His spirit card. His spirit card, yeah. Okay. I won't say too much about it because yeah. people will put two and two yeah, together. Yeah. And then. There was another one. Is I was booking a, 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 a location for the ghost hunt. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You'll know it anyway. And um, I spoke to the fella on the phone. I'm not going to say where it is. spoke to the fella on the phone. Sadly, he's passed now. And as he was on the phone, there was a growl across the phone. And the oh. phone went dead. Oh. So I rang him again. And uh, I said to him, I said, sorry about that. The, the phone went dead. And he went, it's, it's okay. This uh, happens now and then. Yeah. It's because you're coming down here. Because I was ringing up to make sure everything was okay. And he was saying it happens that. And what it was, he he, re- he said to me, it's the spirits telling you not to come. Oh. 
they're putting the phone down to stop you, trying to block you from coming. Yeah. And she said, well, just keep coming, just come anyway. And we did, and that night was the night that we abandoned the night. Oh, right. Yeah. Um, I'd say about, about one o'clock in the morning, they all looked at us and we said, we, we can't go on any further because so many things were happening to people. Yeah. They just couldn't go on. Um, a few weeks later, well, a few weeks later, we all went back down there again. I'll give you the clue. I tied your hair to the head to the um, well, let's in the right car. <laughs> that. Yeah. Home. So um, you know, no, I don't think we should. Um, okay. It's a private thing that one. Okay. But it was it was weird that them two things have happened. Mm-hmm. Well, I've seen that light as well we behind right. me. Behind yeah. you, yeah. you felt Twice. a blowing on your face. This yeah, is all while you, we've been recording, Peter, wasn't it? Yeah, because it? I yeah. was looking at the computer, wasn't I? Because I was yeah. I was making sure everything was all right there. And I felt like something blew in my face while we were talking to Peter, mm-hmm. and I turned around to say. Is that you messing around trying to frighten no. me? Well, I didn't say it because I was in the conversation. He was actually I, writing it down yeah, on the book while we were listening. On, on the piece of paper, I wrote, mm-hmm. well, it's somewhere in here anyway. Yeah. Um, I, I said it and you went, no. Yeah. yeah. And it was it was clear on my face. It was like, oh, somebody going, yeah. on my face. Yeah. And then you saw and the light. I saw yeah. the light. Yeah. And it was behind you. Mm-hmm. The source of all the blinds. Mm-hmm. That's why I said to you, is the lights outside? Yeah, yeah. no. Yeah. Uh, the, yeah. the lights actually stopped working, and it was one that you'd have to press on and off as well. But before we go, because we'll be going soon anyway, the other thing that was weird is as soon as we finished that interview and started doing stuff on it, everything's oh, been yeah. fine. Oh, yeah, nothing's happened, it's been has fine, it? Nothing has it? happened since we finished talking to Peter. Strange. I never thought happened. about that. Yeah. If you think about it, because you thought you'd heard the chair, which is over there. Over there. Both no, you heard, and, well, I, yeah. I heard the noise, and you yeah. heard the noise, Marie. Yeah. And I didn't. No, I didn't know where the chair was. No, no. because you said to me, where's the chair? And I was thinking and outside, because we had the door. And I said, where is that other chair? Because yeah. it sounded like right. one of the chairs, the chairs moving, moving on the floor. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then Jamie said, it's over there. Mm-hmm. That's And correct. that's where the sound sounded like it came from to me. Yeah. Well, it's weird so, that you get that, isn't it? Because... Yeah. I mean, I didn't. You didn't know where the chair was. I didn't. No, you no. didn't. No. So we've had all that, but since we stopped that interview, and edited the edited um, Peter because he cut off a few times. Yeah, yeah. We had and to then close the end, didn't we? uploaded, started everything again. Nothing, not touch wood. Nothing has happened at all. Well, that's so. how many times have we started the computer and rebooted it? Oof. Tonight, well, tonight, tonight. It, was, it was a nightmare tonight. Was it- Two or that's three never times been. that we've had to reboot it's never it happened like that before for has some it? reason I know yeah. yeah so anyway on that note we have to say goodbye and finish the show now okay um, it's been a cracking night with Peter and yeah, I it's it's um, and yeah. I re- really appreciate him coming on tonight because yeah. it was one of those can you yeah. um, can you do it if you want to and you want to listen to these again, these are going to go on YouTube in time, aren't they? We're going to get yep. them all on there. But go along to our YouTube channel. We, we're starting to put stuff up there now. Um, it's Access Paranormal Podcast. Yes. Just go along, subscribe, like, and comment, whatever you want to do. Your get notifications over there. of when new ones are going up because yeah. we're going to, yeah. we've Just got a lot there. of back shows that yeah. we're going to put up there yeah, as well. We have, yeah. And our Facebook as well. Yeah. So... Tonight has been a cracking night, and I'd like to again thank Peter Parker for coming on. I'd also like to say thank you to Jonathan, yeah, who got out of bed, <laughs> <laughs> and also to Gary. Where does he get that from? I don't know. And also to Marie, my partner in crime, again. Thank you both again for coming, and You're we'll welcome. and we'll see you all again next week, we same will. time, same place. Good night. <laughs>